Texas A&M University Corpus Christi is setting a new standard of excellence in its kinesiology program. Equipped with laboratories that have leading exercise science research technology, A&M Corpus Christi students will acquire the skills needed to be successful in today's modern, technological-based competitive world. The facilities include the Motion Capture Laboratory, equipped with state-of-the-art biomechanical analysis software, visual analysis, and training software. One laboratory houses the most advanced body scan equipment of its kind, comparable to models found in hospitals. The General Electric IKE Deska is designed to measure bone density as well as multiple forms of body composition. This allows students to know exactly what the test subject is made of, making it the only one of its kind in any of the universities in the state of Texas. Another laboratory is capable of testing multiple sports science variables such as aerobic capacity, muscle activation, and body lactate formation. This equipment can also measure ventilation per minute, lung capabilities during inhalation and exhalation, directly the number of calories a person uses per minute at various levels of exercise, as well as what the athletes are using for fuels during exercise. This information is then used to design training variables that help athletes receive proper training zones in order to achieve the highest level of performance. Associate Professor of Kinesiology Dr. Don Melrose discusses the importance of the tests performed and the information acquired in these laboratories. We are doing a project for our cross-country team right now, and it's also some research for us right now as well. And with these values, uh, we know that many of these athletes comparatively have various levels of performance and body fat and muscle composition and bone density and aerobic capacity that makes them competitive on the scale that our athletes are competitive uh, as Division I athletes. And we can use this information to tell them about things like the fuels that they use again, their maximal heart rates, uh, this can help us des design training variables that can also help these people um, get to their proper training zones so that they can be better athletes.